Just to be SAC Baltimore is a significant accomplishment in and of itself, but as the first African American, this is a sense of pride that is affiliated with that. Gordon Johnson made history when appointed to head up the Baltimore FBI office, the first African American to hold the job. The FBI has had challenges with minority communities in the past and has worked through that. And we're, we're trying to, to do things a lot better and a lot different in the modern FBI. Johnson is retiring from the agency later this week. His tenure of two and a half years includes overseeing the notorious gun trace task force investigation. Eight Baltimore police officers were convicted of robbery and overtime fraud. We are not going to have a safe, well-functioning community if the public officials in any position, you name it, if they betray their oath of office for personal gain. The victims in the, those cases are largely are people in the community who have no other options. And, you know, in some ways, we I see that as us standing up for individual civil rights when we can step in and stop that type of corruption. The Baltimore FBI is a partner in the fight against violent crime in the city, but Johnson said law enforcement alone won't reduce the rate of violence. Some of these things we're not going to investigate or arrest our way out of. And, you know, so the other systems that are in play and are, are trying to influence behavior as well are really important for us. They, it all has to work together. We can take out a network or an enterprise, but that's linear if the, you know, if the curve is exponential and, the, you know, the violence is growing at that kind of rate. So law enforcement is not the all and be all answer there. It's partnership with the community and partnership with community leaders to do other things to try and, and flatten that curve out so that, you know, when we do apply the law enforcement resources that you know, we take out an enterprise and make a neighborhood safe, it stays safe because there's opportunity in that neighborhood. Johnson says his next stop professionally is the private sector, a case that really sticks with him, he told us, the murder of Bowie State University student Richard Collins III, a victim of an alleged hate crime. Collins, Johnson said, was a young man doing everything right with his life. Reporting live tonight from the newsroom, I'm Jane Miller, WBAL-TV 11 News.